Hey people. Yeah, what's up this morning? Um, I'm not I'm not a fucking morning person. I got up like probably like ten minutes ago. I am like so not a morning person. I'd rather like usually around this time, I'd rather be fucking going to bed than waking up. But you know, um, I just got a couple of things I gotta do before I leave. You know, just straighten up my apartment a little bit. Um, you know. Make sure I got my ride to pick me up in the morning, and um, you know, just having a hard time sleeping. I have my insomnia came back a little bit because I ran out of my kratom, and then not only that, like I don't know if this happens to any of y'all, but like with me, if I know I'm like traveling, if I'm gonna be traveling away, like out of state, and I got a flight, and or like whatever, you know, like if I was driving or a train, bus, whatever, any kind of transportation, and you know you're leaving at like early in the morning, you know what I'm saying, like, if you were leaving, like, at 4, 3, 4, 5, whatever, a.m., right, I, a lot of times, I can't go to sleep the night before, because then I feel like I'm gonna oversleep, and especially, like, if you're by yourself, you have nobody to fucking wake you up, I feel, I have that fear that, like, I'm gonna oversleep and then miss my flight, or, like, miss my, my traveling plans, and I'm gonna be, like, so fucked, you know, like, I'm gonna be so screwed, and everything's gonna be fucked up for me, so, I lose sleep, and, you know, I just, like, wait, and then I'm like, I could go to sleep, you know, when I'm when I'm on the road, you know what I'm saying, while I'm traveling and shit. And, you know, basically, like my mom says, you know, I'll get all the sleep I need when I'm dead. So, because <laughs> my mom suffers from um, RLS and OCD and shit, so she's just, like, always moving around the house. She don't sleep that well. She's always in doing something, cleaning, cooking, washing clothes, whatever it is, you know. She just never sits still. So, my mom's like that, and, you know, um... Honestly, my girlfriend's the same way. She just, she can't sit still. I mean, yeah, she's, she's, she does for a little while. Like, you can watch a movie with her or whatever like that. But, you know, then she's up doing something. So she's always multitasking, like, 50 fucking things while she's trying to do one thing. You know, I get confused with shit like that. And stuff like that stresses me the fuck out. I can't do stuff like that, you know. So, you know, um, but yeah, other than that, you know, I gotta make sure I'm, I double-checked everything. I got everything packed. I don't leave nothing behind. Um... You know, um, just shave later. I mean, they shaved me in the hospital, but, you know, I still, I'm going to shave up a little bit. Uh, and, um, you know, I had to leave a note on the door because um, there was a package left outside the door. And it was, apparently it was Saturday evening or some shit. And I didn't see it until Sunday. So I'm, I'm surprised nobody took that shit. But usually they're pretty good about stuff like that around here. And um, But, like, if this was New York, that shit would have been fucking jacked already, that shit would not have been there, like, not even five minutes, that shit would have been gone, so I'm like, <laughs> that's, that's pretty much one of the good things about that, and, um, but, I live in a, in a, at least a pretty decent housing community over here, so it's not, you know, there ain't too many thieves and shit like that, uh, I'm not saying there ain't any, but it's not as bad as New York and shit, that's what I'm saying, like, my own fucking neighbors, like, if I left something outside the door and not even, like, I checked like 10 minutes, that should be gone. Somebody literally stole my fucking rug. I bought a dollar rug, a fucking, you know, a, a placemat outside the door. A fucking little tiny rug for people to wipe their feet on before they come in the house. Had that shit in the hallway, bought it from a dollar, dollar store. And I don't know how long, not even a couple hours. I opened my door to go get my mail, the fucking little rug is gone. I was like, seriously? Like, people gotta steal a fucking hallway rug? Like... That is some grimy shit, man. People are fucking grimy. You know, it's like, I don't understand people. That Yeah, that's like some crazy shit, right? But, yeah, um, so I'm gonna be leaving. I'm gonna see if I can try to leave here at like 4 a.m. in the morning because my flight leaves at 5.55 a.m. So, you know, um, like I said, I'm excited because, you know, like, I just need a fucking break from this apartment. It's just, it's just like getting depressed with like nothing to do and shit and then you know people just fucking amaze me lately you know it's like just their actions towards me and everything and you know just like being fucking grimy and shit you know and it's just like really disappointing to me because it's like certain people i expect to be there for me right now because they know that i'm gonna be going through surgery in like a week and you know they just like really being disappointing to me you know it's just a big disappointment and Actually, yeah, and it is, some of them it is kind of surprising because these are people I don't expect to, to be like that with me right now, you know, so I mean, I just don't understand that, but 
I know where some of it comes from. Because, I mean, I know a lot of shit that's just going on with people. They think I don't know, but I do know. I know a lot more than they think I know. So, you know, but, I mean, it's all good, you know. Like they say, what goes around comes around, you know. Um, but, you know, it is what it is. So, you know, I'm just trying to focus on my surgery. And those that are going to be there for me are going to be there for me. Those that are not, then I know what their intentions are. I know how they feel towards me. I, that just tells me, that just pretty much tell me everything I need to know, you know. If, if people are there for me within this week, they're there for me. If they're not, they're not. I know, I know their true colors then. You know, I know what they're about. And, you know. Well, let's see how shit goes after that, you know, it's, um, like I said, it's just a lot of disappointing shit lately. And just disappointing and upsetting because, you know, I'm just like, I really am such a good person. And then honestly, it's just like, I find myself lately, like, s turning into such a fucked up person. Like, you know, I just like, I want to do so much fucked up shit to people, like, for the shit people are doing to me. And actually, that's already going to be taking place as soon as I head to New York. Some fucked up shit's gonna be going down because you know what? I'm not, you know what? I've been too nice for too fucking long and I've always had people shit on me, treat me like shit, take advantage of me, manipulate me, use me, and you know what? I'm fucking done with that. I am so fucking done with that because you know what? That got me nowhere. Doing that, being nice, fucking got me nowhere. So you know what? I'm gonna be a fucking asshole. You know, sadly to say, I'm going to start being a fucking asshole and fucking shit up for people. People want to fuck shit up for me, it's my turn now. I'm going to start fucking shit up for people. You know what I'm saying? If, if people can't appreciate me, I'm going to have people fucking hate me. You know, that it is what it is, you know? Because I guess people have more, people must like people that are fucked up and assholes, you know? I, that, and I don't understand that. Like, you know, you're going to say you love somebody... Because they're a fucked up person or so, or whatever, you know what I'm saying? Like, that, to me, that's fucking asinine, you know what I'm saying? That's so ass backwards, it's not even funny, like, oh yeah, I love these people, they're fucked up, and, you know, but at least I have respect for them because they're assholes or whatever, you know, like, it's just retarded to me, you know, like, why, you, I mean, you would think that people have more respect and more love for somebody that's a great person than somebody that's gonna shit on you or be an asshole with you, you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know, I'm just rambling on right now, I'm just like, I'm still like half asleep and I'm just talking shit right now, so don't mind me, I'm just, I think I'm just getting emotional because I know my surgery's coming soon and I'm, I gotta leave, I mean, I know it's a lot of hours from now, but yeah, basically I gotta leave early in the morning, so I'm just like, as the hours are starting to go down close, so yeah, I guess I'm getting a little bit nervous, so I'm just talking a lot of shit out my ass, I don't know, and you know, I haven't heard from my girlfriend in a couple of days, so you know, um, I'm surprised with that, but, um, you know, so, but yeah, I mean, um, that's it for now, you guys, you know, I'll try to do another video, yeah, later this afternoon, because I still got to call and, and schedule my pickup for in the morning and shit, so, and I, I want to start getting some stuff done, and, because I'm not, I don't want to have to, like, hesitate and, like, drag this shit out, like, just be lazy and do that shit, like, way later, there's some stuff I'm going to do now while I'm awake, and just get this shit over with, you know, so, um, yeah, I'll probably do another video, like, later, when I'm, like, more awake and shit, and actually, I'm kinda, I could go for a fucking iced coffee right now, no shit, my mom got me into that shit when I was visiting with her, I could so go for one right now, just to get a little boost of energy and shit, I don't know, but, yeah, I'll be leaving a video, I'll probably be leaving a video for you guys later, if not, then maybe tomorrow, like, while, I'm traveling, <clears throat> excuse me, at the airport or whatever. Alright, so, till then, latest people.